Red Dead Redemption 2 houses a whole catalogue of weird shit, from vampires to naked wolf men in the woods, a man in a dress who's lost his lines, and mute serial killers in a swamp. Well, in today's video, it's about to get even fucking weirder as we present the concept of time travel. Yes, there is a side quest in Red Dead Redemption 2 that seems to have the subject of time travel in there somewhere. The side quest in question is called Geology for Beginners. How does it start? Well, allow me to show you. Well, what's eating you, partner? Eating me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'll dry up. What? See, I'm, uh... Hey, can I ask you a strange question? I mean, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the level. I don't have a clue what you just said. Well, I'm sorry, sport. Uh, there's these funny rock carvings. They look a bit like this. Okay. Yeah, well, the thing is, I sort of, like, really badly have to find all of them. Now, it's sort of a puzzle thing to me. Eh, I know, it sounds ridiculous, but I'm on the up and up, and it's really important. Little rock carvings. Yeah, exactly, little rock carvings. What do you want to do with them? Well, it's sort of very complicated, and you'll think I'm jazzed if I tell you. You're what? Drunk. Are you? No, huh, I wish. No, I'm, uh, lost. It's a long story. Can you find the carvings? I have no idea. Well, I sort of need them. Hey, listen, if you find them, I'll pay you handsomely. Send me details, if you can. Here's my card. And if I can't? Well, I'm sure you can, sport. I'm sure you can. Francis Sinclair. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. Well, I don't understand. Why do you need these things? Well, I told you. If I told you, you'd think I was on the hooch. The what? I'm gonna have a lie down. I don't feel very well. And neither would you. It... Yeah, but, hey, what harm could it do? What a lunatic. So this strange acting ginger-haired fellow with a birthmark over his right eye called Francis Sinclair wants us to find 10 rock carvings across the game world to help him. Now I did this entire quest as John Marston, not Arthur Morgan, so in case there's any confusion, the entire quest takes place over the span of probably a short period of time, not a long one. Remember all that I've just said, it's all quite relevant come the end. So to begin with, I think it's best if we get the guide as to where these 10 rock carvings are out the way. This is quite a lengthy one, so don't expect this quest to be over in 15 minutes, it could take you a couple hours. If you're not very patient like me, then this quest is going to drive you absolutely mental. Because there's quite a lot of travel in this one, and it will take you all over the map. But first of all, let's talk about where you can actually activate this quest to begin with. So Francis can be found at a shack just a little bit northwest of Strawberry, not very far out, so it shouldn't be too difficult to find. So now that's out of the way, let's get the guide done for where all the rock carvings are. Our first carving can be found at Mount Hagen, which is quite far north of where you get this quest. Our first carving appears to be a zeppelin above a skyscraper, which we know didn't happen before the events of Red Dead Redemption 2, so this is clearly from the future, or at least was carved by somebody who knew the future. Second carving can be found quite a ways east, however here it is on the map if you want to go ahead and find it. This one appears to be somebody walking out of what could be a doorway, or it could be a portal. Don't think too hard on it just yet, just get all the carvings first. The next location is further east again, this time it's near Butchess Station, as seen on the map here.
This carving appears to depict a man with wings, maybe an angel or something, I have no idea, it's just a bit weird at this point. Our next carving can be found just a bit southwest of here, it's quite close to where the second carving was. This one appears to depict an atomic explosion, which is definitely something that happened after the events of Red Dead Redemption 2. Our next carving is just west of Strawberry, on the southern shore of this lake. This one appears a bit harder to make out, could it be cogs of mechanics and things like that because that's how it looks? The next one is located atop Mount Shan, just north of Strawberry. What this means I'm not sure, but this is clearly a double helix, so obviously this is something to do with DNA. The double helix was discovered in 1953, which is definitely after the events of Red Dead Redemption 2. The next one is quite far east of here, it's just a little bit north of Flatneck Station. This carving appears to show us a bull pulling a cart, which is a means of transportation that's been used since ancient times and is still used in many parts of the world today. The next carving location is quite far northeast here on the map, so let's get going. Hey, that's a nice looking horse you have there. Better name faster than mine though. Ariel's my pride and joy. How about we head to the veteran's homestead? Whoa, whoa! What? I didn't want to race. We can't stop for anything. We're on a trail of a time traveller here. Now this one barely needs any explanation, this is quite clearly a pyramid of some kind. Considering its shape and the fact that Rockstar probably don't want to get too obscure, I'd say that this is probably the Great Pyramid of Giza. The next location can be found just a bit northeast of here yet again. You'll want to be going just a little bit north of Ansberg.
As for what this carving shows, I really could not tell you. As for the final location, just head south to the Elysian Pool. Again, I'm really not sure as to what this is. Anyways, now we have all of the stone carvings marked. Let's go and post the coordinates at the nearest post office. I'm about to go belly up. Yeah, Holy welcome. Shit. Right. What are you sending? Gonna be on its way soon. Now that's done, we're going to want to wait at least 24 hours for Francis to respond. We should receive an invitation from Francis Sinclair that reads as follows. Dear Sir, the carvings, you've found the last of them. Oh, wait until I show you what I've pieced together. You'll think I'm a bit buttered. Please don't dally. I'm travelling soon and don't want to miss you. See you at my home a bit north of the midway point between Owengia Lake and Strawberry. Yours truly, Francis Sinclair. Since that's done, let's return to Francis Sinclair's house. When we arrive, we'll be met by this confusing scene. Hello? Hello? Mr. Sinclair? Whoa. Oh, hello. Can I help you? I'm sorry for intruding. Mrs. Sinclair? Yes. How did you know? I was looking for your husband. My husband? He's dead. He's been dead since just before Francis was born one year ago. Your husband Francis is dead? No, this is Francis. My husband Tom is dead. I'm a little confused. Yes, I think you are. What was your name? It ain't important. Excuse me. The man we met to begin with does not appear to exist, and Francis is in fact a baby. A ginger-haired baby with the exact same birthmark. Did we meet this baby as an adult? If you return to the house, you can see the board and everything on it. All the different snippets from history, past, present and future. And right in the centre, you see a figure who looks exactly like Francis, walking through a portal. Birthmark and everything. What's weird is that this board is in the house and that woman did not even begin to question it. Like, she expected it to be there. Does that mean she's aware of her son's future time traveling antics? I suppose so. I mean, it's maybe it's just an inconsistency, but it's a bit odd. Anyways, all we know for sure is that we've definitely had an encounter with a time traveler. But anyways, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead, leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends. Be sure to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, I'd really appreciate that, and I'll see you all very soon with another video at some point.